Hello everyone, welcome to Reef Tank Adventure, episode number 39. And in this episode, I'm just going to be talking uh, sort of briefly about Calc Wasser. The title of uh, this episode is To Calc or Not to Calc, that is the question. And I just, I, I kind of think it's worth addressing, and that's why I'm doing this episode, that Calc Wasser is a useful tool. But at the same time, it can be very troublesome. And if you check out the forums, uh, you will quickly find that out, that some people are fans of it, some people aren't. I think possibly uh, when folks are new to the hobby, as myself, um, it is a good solution to be able to uh, increase the pH and also to increase the calcium. Um, as calcium is beginning to be depleted by the corals. So I ran Kalkwasser for a long time. Uh, well, I say a long time, I mean about six months. And the problems that I had and the reason why I kind of want to tell you that you may want to just skip the Kalkwasser auto top-off method is because there is several disadvantages to it. First off, not predictable. Um, you can change your uh, concentration anywhere from just a quarter of a teaspoon up to the max of two uh, teaspoons uh, or tablespoons that is concentration, which is fully saturated. Um, I was actually using Kalkwasser and dosing calcium, and that definitely was a big mistake because what would happen is the water would precipitate because of the fact that the auto top off would sometimes top off too much at a time, raise the concentration of the calcium in the water too quickly and with a high alkalinity it would precipitate and anything warm such as your power heads, your pump, all of those things would begin to form uh, basically calcium deposits on them, anything with heat. So I was continuously uh, fighting pump issues, uh, my heaters were completely covered over, my protein skimmer uh, pretty much didn't work the same after, after doing that. So it, it's just one of those things where it's very troublesome. And now that I have stopped uh, dosing the calc wasser, my water is more clear than ever before. Now I do attribute some of the clarity of the water to the new protein skimmer and if you uh, possibly think that you might have skipped an episode, you didn't. Um, episode number 38 will be the one month review for the Diablo protein skimmer. So definitely be looking for that. Um, but so now, you know, the cool thing is, is now with my auto top off, um, I can basically take my RODI setup that I've showed you before. I bought an additional clear container. The clear container is useful because you can see the water level at a glance without having to look down in it. So that is the benefit of these clear containers. Um, and, you know, I buy these clear containers at Bulk Reef Supply. The one gallon slims are really nice so you can see your calcium and your alkalinity. Um, my tank is actually dosing alkalinity right now. But so what I can do is I can just basically take one of these jugs, put it in the kitchen sink, put my RODI water hose in there, let it fill, and then just swap these out. So no longer do I need to, uh, I have the funnel in there, but that's actually just a place that I'm keeping it, um, just, you know, I use the funnel to top off the alkalinity and the calcium, but I just switch these jugs out and normally this is stored somewhere else. Okay, so um, I've mentioned some of the disadvantages of Kalkwasser, um, but definitely, you know, early on, if you need to increase calcium levels, it, it does work. Um, it doesn't work very well in conjunction with two part. I can tell you that. That's really where my problem started was upping the dose 
uh, to the max saturation of Kalkwasser trying to get my calcium levels to go up and I still really don't have my calcium levels where I want them to be but that's mostly because of the fact that I just don't have the calcium dosing enough minutes per day. Um, I'm looking for that maintenance level and I'm just basically using this little cup right here with this hose and then a microball valve, um, a two fishes microball valve to basically slowly drip the calcium over a 24 hour period of time. So I'm basically adding uh, whatever I need to add to get it to the level that I want. I'm shooting for 400 right now. Tomorrow I'll shoot for 420 uh, because you do have to watch how much calcium you add at a time. So, um, you know, I just, I really wanted to, to make this video basically just to caution you. Um, if you haven't bought a, a, a two part dosing system, I really recommend that be one of your next purchases uh, that you buy is a two-part dosing system with the two dosing pumps uh, because it's going to make a huge difference and even though my Coraline algae was growing fairly well before it's really starting to take off uh, now with the absence of the Kalkwasser and I think part of that is the fact that the water clarity is so much better um, so that is it for now. can't really talk about it any more than that just to caution you and let you know that there is many downsides and that you may want to consider going with two part from the very beginning. So please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and be informed of more reviews. If you have any questions please leave it in the comments and thank you for watching.